So as the title of this video suggests, and the start of this video uh, uh, suggests, I made my first video game. But not everything went smoothly. So when I was trying to fall asleep one night, uh, my brain decided to not want to fall asleep and think of many other ideas of how I would create a game. Because so even though I am not a game developer, Looper or programmer, I'm an animator, I wanted to give it a shot to see how I would do. So the first thing I decided to do is what was the game going to be? Well, it was obviously going to be something very basic considering I had never made a game before, so uh, well, I just started off by trying to figure out what is the very basic thing I could do, and that I ended up going with a simple cube going on a track. Making like the obstacles and the players and all that was very easy, easy and like the platform that the player would be on was easy. But the real challenge was when it came to the programming part of it. As I already said, I am not a dev games developer, I'm not a programmer, I'm not a coding person. So this was a very new experience for me. There is a lot of stuff that did go wrong. Programming the cube so that when it hit another cube to reset the game was fairly simple and didn't really require much coding. The most complicated part to code was the game manager itself for like the overall state of how the game runs. That was probably the most confusing part to uh, program. All in all, for first making of a game experience, it, it just took me like, what, eight or something, eight or so hours to make this game? And overall, um, I would definitely do it again. I would definitely make a game again. I I obviously don't want to take this seriously. Like I'm an animator, not a game developer. But to, um, games were a big part of my life, uh, and I definitely want to show the appreciation I have for them by making my own games. Uh, so, well, I'll definitely be making projects to, um, to probably like ensue my own creation. Should I make my own 3D objects and put them in? In, into Unity, for instance, use Blender along with, with Unity. That'd be pretty nice. But anyway, yeah, this was all in all a very fun experience and a very challenging experience. As I've as I have already said, I've never done coding before. Remember, but I'll definitely do it again. So thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye.